right to the rocks. Then I make that shit back. Run up on me, get shot in the back. Hey, change me the pill if you ever get scratched right now. We're gonna make it. Back to the SAS. We covered the SAS a little bit, right? We did SAS versus what, the Navy SEALs? Versus the Navy SEALs. And a lot of people said that SAS is better than the Navy SEALs. That's bull. That's I don't think that's true. America, all the way, guy. Ooh, the SAS. This video is the SAS and the like Peterhead Prison Raid, October 1987. I think prison stories are always interesting. I feel like a lot of people have been to prison, so like people are most likely interested in this. And I'm interested in it also because yeah, we haven't been to prison, so. Nah, I don't know shit about jail, but yeah. if it's your first time tuning in, subscribe to the channel, request the content, and then we react. Like it. So basically, you say, we play. Like the video, follow me on JT on Instagram, follow my post reaction on Instagram post if you want some. Yuck. You know, if you want, hit them up if you want, you know, some videos to be watched on the channel. Let's get it. No more talk. Hurry up and bye. Hit the subscribe. Who's better, guys? The SES or Navy SEAL? Let us know the comments right now. Who's more efficient? USA! 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 I, I'm neutral. I'm like Swiss Air. So they actually break into a jail? I don't know. On the 28th of September, 1987, 48 prisoners held in Peterhead Prison in Peter North East Scotland. Peterhead, where is that at? Rose up and seized control over D Hall within the complex. Oh my God. The Peterhead Prison, this was a second riot in just two years, with Officer Jackie Stewart, who was one of the prison guards on duty at the time, recording that. Duty? <laughs> he recorded The colleague had placed an inmate on a minor report in the morning, but in the evening, when they were out for leisure, the inmate tried to stab the officer who was involved. I went to his aid. Well, that's going to lead to the SES coming. You can't stab cops or you can't hurt cops. If you try to hurt a cop, they're going to try to kill you. you yeah, know? well, you know, in prison, there's a lot of mistreatment of soldiers, of prisoners, mm -hmm. and they ra they rise up. Something causes this. Mm -hmm. What okay. do you think? Yeah. The inmate tried to stab the officer who was involved. I went to his aid, as anybody would have done, but after wrestling the prisoner to the floor, I noticed the whole hall had become involved in the incident, and events just oh, spiraled from yeah. there. The whole pod, I guess? In the unfolding unrest, Officer Jackie Stewart and the other prison guard were taken as hostages by a handful of the prisoners, oh, wow. but the second guard would eventually be released on the following day. Despite this, Officer Stewart continued to be held captive and was later marched from one of the prison cells and onto the roof of D Hall. He's the dirt he was stabbed three times, threatened to be set alight, and regularly beaten. He got stabbed. Meanwhile, additional police units had moved into the Peterhead area in response to the riot. What did he possibly do to deserve this? Like, I feel like the universe comes back to you and like yeah. karma is a thing I think we would think that and we're assuming which is never good to assume he might have did nothing he's probably just maybe these dudes are just like whatever he's probably the top dog and he just got you yeah know? and they're criminals at the end of the day so they're gonna do some illegal shit they're in prison yeah Let's get that's it. a fact Jack but given that it developed into a hostage situation additional resources were required and soon two members of the 22nd SAS regiment were sent out and attached to the police in an advisory role wow at the same time, a group of 20 soldiers from D Squadron, the 22nd SAS Regiment, were placed on high alert to deploy to Peterhead. What? However, authorization for military intervention was only to be given in the event that all other options to end the crisis had been exhausted. It would be the Queen, right? As such, over the next few days, negotiations between the police and the prisoners took place in the hopes of securing the safe release of Officer Stewart who had, by now, been moved from the roof and back down into one of the prison cells. Wow. Consequently, based on this development and fearing for the well-being of the hostage, the Home Secretary, Douglas Hurd, after conferring with Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher and senior police officials, gave the green light for SAS to intervene in the early morning hours of the 3rd of October, 1987. Here we go! On their stage and area at Aria Flinham, the men of D Squadron were flown into Aberdeen on board a C-130 transport aircraft, okay. from where they were then taken to Peterhead. Peter. On arrival on the scene, the SAS quietly entered the prison complex for a rear entrance and were taken so to the prison... So how many SAS members, I mean, give us an estimate, you guys don't know the exact number. I feel like the Navy SEALs don't run too deep. How right? many are in total? Or how many in this mission? Well, yeah, like how how many? Because you remember before Osama bin Laden was only like seven of them, right? It wasn't yeah, that many. But, that was, but it's very hard that, to be. That Navy was Navy SEALs. Seals. Yeah, so I'm saying Navy SEALs are very hard to 
it's really hard to become one. So I wonder if the SAS is like a very intense. I mean, we went over it. It's pretty intense. It's, no, it's elite. It's elite. It's yeah. the best of the best. That's what I'm saying. So I wonder if there's less than 20 guys doing this mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're not as good as uh, Navy SEALs. Yeah. It's not even close. <laughs> the SAS quietly entered the prison complex for a rear entrance and were taken to the prison's gymnasium where a briefing was carried out and an assault plan was drawn up. Wow. Thereafter, the SAS, clad in black overalls and body armor and wearing gas masks, split off into four teams of four men to execute okay. the assault. Due to the nature of the operation, the SAS were instructed to only use their firearms if absolutely necessary, hold on, hold on, hold on. or instead to storm the- Four times four is one, two, <laughs> eight, and eight, 16. The objective were batons, stun grenades, and CS gas. Present at the time, we attached the team tasked with clearing the first floor of the hall was Squadron Sergeant Major Peter Ratcliffe, who later recounted, PD! Silently, the four teams got into position and made their preparations. But as the guys edged their way along the slippery wet parapet, they were spotted from across the yard by prisoners in B Wing, which held several hundred men. Oh my god! They shouted warnings to alert the hostage takers. By now, however, everything was in place for the rescue, and the officer commanding didn't wait a moment longer. You couldn't, you're in. That's exactly 0500 on the 3rd of October 1987, four SES teams received the signal to begin the assault. On three of the floors of D Hall, three of the teams breached through metal doors and stormed onto the metal walkways, deploying as they did so stun grenades and okay. CS gas to incapacitate that. the rioters. Simultaneously, the fourth team, located on the roof, breached through the ceiling of the cell Officer Stewart was being held in, and within seconds, the men of the SCS had grabbed the hostage. Wow, so great timing, the way they timed everything, and they, they created a flash. Stun grenade. Yep, and then created that distraction, and at the same time, they jumped in from the roof into the cell yard. Isn't that crazy how, like, they couldn't escape still? That's how complex prisons are they still couldn't just why didn't they just leave <laughs> they couldn't and actually i wonder how they got the uh the intelligence to know exactly where he was being held oh that is true how do they know that part that's a key part that's being left out that's that means it was a snitch oh and we're escorting him out to safety in the meantime the other sas teams are making their way through the rest of the building and dealing with the rioters who, stunned and caught off guard by the speed and intensity of the assault, put up no resistance and were very quickly subdued. Damn. Thus, just three minutes into the operation, D Hall had been secured and the riots had been quelled. Sheesh. And shortly afterwards, the police moved in to take over from the SCS, who time? slipped out of Peterhead Prison as sure. swiftly and silently as they had arrived only one hour before. The men of D Squadron would then return to Aberdeen and board aircraft that would take them back to their garrison Ooh. in Hereford, with Squadron Sergeant Major Ratcliffe concluding. Nice. The flight back was slow, but I passed the time thinking about the events the pre-dawn hours and reflecting on my luck that once again I've been involved in the action, another piece of the regiment's history. Nice. The self-styled hard men of Scotland's toughest maximum security prison turned out to be about as tough as newborn kittens <laughs> when faced with really hard men for the SAS. Wow, tough as wow. newborn kittens? I'm using that one. That's that's actually just so disrespectful. I know, I know they were so mad in the prison. <laughs> Yo, that's wow. When they, when they found out about that, right? Wow, disrespectful. Tough as newborn kittens when wow. faced with really hard men for the SAS. That's crazy. What a great breakdown by this guy. Shout out yeah, to it's awesome. Full of action. In the aftermath of the events of the Peter Head Prison right, the enrollment of the SAS was not mentioned for various reasons. It was until January 1993 and the British government officially confirmed that SAS had freed Officer Stewart. Also, it was classified at the point oh, time. The raid also marked the first operational use of the SAS in Scotland. Oh, wow. You tell me something, I'm saying the SAS is they're the elite. They're like some Navy SEAL shit. They're yeah, but they're stuff. better than Navy SEALs. After this, I, I believe they are. <laughs> it was a short job, less than 12 hours, and they were back in Hereford in time for a second breakfast. Wow! wow it took a mass. Yeah, it, it took a while, bro. I, mean, I don't blame them, though. They, they, they were back for a second breakfast. 
They're, they're trained well and they've been through a lot of trauma to get to this point. And they went in and out. Like, you know, when you go to your, your, your friend's house and you use their pool, you get a next <laughs> shit one time and you get right back out. It's right. JTV. I want to do more SAS Army prison stories, UK prison stories. I love this. This is fun. Yeah, you say we play. History. Yeah. UK history. We'll do more of that, right? Yeah, let's do it. We out of here, man. Peace. Hey. Uh, hit the block, catches that slipping, we spinning in that drop. Bullets Tyson biting, fuck, I look like I ain't got a box. Ain't sparing no nigga, he tried me and I'm a pop's top.